Hello and welcome to Baiju's Exam Prep IES. The big news for today is that the US Senate has finally officially recognized the McMahon line as the border between India and China. Now, as you know, ever since our independence, government of India has been demanding that China should officially recognize the McMahon line as the official border between the two sides, but China has not done so till now. China, in fact, has put claims multiple times on Arunachal Pradesh, sometimes in the entire state and sometimes a part of Arunachal Pradesh, mainly the Tawang area. This comes in as a big shot in the arm for India because India now has been supported by the US in recognition of this official McMahon line as our border. Now, this resolution in the American Senate, that is their upper house, was introduced the last month in February when the Senate decided that with bipartisan support, that means when both the parties, Democrats and the Republicans together, will support this resolution that Arunachal Pradesh is an integral part of India, meaning that the McMahon line should be considered as the official border between the two sides. I am sure all of you by now already know where exactly is the McMahon line. If you have any confusion, this is where the line is. So this is the border between Arunachal Pradesh and Tibet, Tibet which is now a part of China. If you look at this map, these are the boundary lines where we have slight disagreements with China. Here you see the western sector, then you have slight dispute in Sikkim, although this has been resolved now, and we have the McMahon line over here. This is the effective boundary between India and China, and separates Tibet with Arunachal Pradesh. Now, usually these boundary lines are named after those officials who played a major role in deciding that boundary. Similarly, this line is named after Sir Henry McMahon, who was a foreign secretary of British India and negotiated this agreement between Great Britain and Tibet in what was famously called the Simla Accord of 1914. It is since then that this line has been demarcated, but China claims that Tibet was never a sovereign country. So how can Tibet sign such an agreement? Since China was not a party to this, since China has not signed this, they do not accept this. This McMahon line extends up to 890 km from Bhutan in the west to 260 km east of the great bend of the Brahmaputra river in the eastern part. Now this resolution means a lot for India and also is an indication of the growing proximity between the US and India. The US government has officially sided with India, making sure that any territorial dispute between India and China should be resolved in a manner as India deems fit. This line of actual control, that is a border between India and China, as you know, has been a very active border in the past few years. China has intruded onto the Indian side multiple times. We have had multiple clashes, first in Ladakh and then also a few weeks back in the Tawang sector of Arunachal Pradesh. This resolution also says that the People's Republic of China's claim over Arunachal Pradesh is completely bogus and it should not be supported. The resolution also says that India has been taking positive steps to ensure its own security and sovereignty. In fact, the resolution also says that India's efforts towards telecommunication infrastructure, making robust supply chains, better investments and expanding its cooperation with Taiwan are important steps in the correct direction. The US, as you know right now, is not on good terms with China and it is trying to contain the spread of Chinese expansionist powers. China, as you know, claims that Taiwan also is a part of China and they would want to acquire it one day. China also claims territory in other parts of the world as well. This McMahon line goes back to 1914 to the Simla Convention when it separated the British India from Tibet. The Republic of China did not sign the final agreement and that is what their point of contention is. China says, since Ladakh has never been a sovereign territory, how can they decide on their boundary dispute? It is China who has always controlled Tibet and they should be the one deciding over how and where the line will be formed. If you go back to the history of McMahon line, this issue of boundary between Tibet and British India goes even way back. British India annexed Assam in the northern part of India in 1826, which resulted in the Treaty of Yandabo. It was concluded after the first Anglo-Burmese War in 1824 to 1826. It led to multiple Anglo-Burmese Wars and in the end, 
the entire Burma territory became a part of the British Empire and the border with China's Yunnan province became border with British India. Then in 1913-14, Britain decided that we should have proper boundaries between the two great empires, that is the Chinese Empire and British India. That is when representatives from Britain, China and Tibet attended this conference in Simla and the attempt was to draw this McMahon line. As I discussed, McMahon line is named after the foreign secretary of the British government at that point of time who played a major role in this agreement. There are multiple lines named similar to this like the Ratcliffe line, the Durand line. All of these are named after those officials who were in power in important positions at that point of time when these agreements were being carved out. Now, what does China say? As for China, historically Tibet has always been a part of their territory. Thus, Tibet does not have any sovereign claims. No representative of Tibet could be allowed to decide the future or the boundary line of Tibet. In fact, since 1950, China, as you know, has officially occupied Tibet, while the spiritual leader of Tibet, Dalai Lama, has been given asylum in India. China also says that since they were never a part of the Shimla agreement, they are never bound by that and that is why they keep on putting random claims on different parts of Arunachal Pradesh time and time again. This is one to irritate India and second to tell to the world that they are not letting go of their claims in this territory. However, with the US now jumping in between and deciding to side with India while officially recognizing the McMahon line as the boundary between the two sides, this is a big news for India since now we can expect that US will stand on India's side if there is a conflict between India and China, especially at the McMahon line. This is it for today's big news video. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day ahead.